Well, hi there. So I thought I'd drop a quick video for you all about coffee. That seems to be quite a popular topic at the minute. No tea, no tomato juice. You see, no potato juice. The growers down in San Jose say no, no, no. A politician's daughter was accused of drinking water. I was fined a great big $50 bill. They're awful serious about the coffee in Brazil. Coffee is super, super duper acidic, okay? So it can really irritate your guts and um, it could be World War Three down there uh, if, uh, if you really overdo the coffee. First of all, did you know after one cup of regular coffee, it takes 30 glasses of water to return your body's pH back to where it was because coffee is so acidic. Now, one way around this, is to cold brew your coffee. So instead of getting, um, you know, your coffee and then the hot water and all that jazz, what you do is you cold brew it. Let me demonstrate how I do it. You can get these machines and big fixtures and whatever, but this is how I do it. It works a treat. And when you cold brew your coffee, it's 63 to 70% less acidic. And here's the best thing. Because it's less acidic, it's naturally sweeter so you don't need any sugar or anything like that. Okay, so here's how I do it. Grab yourself uh, a French coffee press or a cafetiere, as they're properly called. Grab yourself one of them. Now with these, if you're gonna make yourself some coffee, what you do is you, you take that bit out, you, you pour your coffee gr granules in there, then you throw loads of hot water in there. Well, in this case, what I do is I put double the amount of, of coffee granules and then just a small, like a regular amount of water. And apparently it works better with coarse grain which is why you need to put more. But to be honest, like this is this is pre-ground. Uh, this is a nice Costa coffee, pre-ground for the for the press or for your coffee machine or whatever. What you do is you put the cold water in there. Filtered is better, obviously. Leave it there for about 12 hours. Okay, so just do it at night, and then it'll be ready in the morning. If it's only eight hours, it's only eight hours, but 12 hours is ideal. Leave that overnight. In the morning, pour some of that into a cup. Then you can throw on top some hot water or you can put in uh, some milk and then microwave it all. If you don't use a microwave, heat up some milk, pour that in if you want a nice milky coffee. And basically that's it. It's much sweeter, it's much nicer, it's so much kinder to your body. Um, and if you, if you want to hear more about coffee, for example, there's an experiment that these uh, scientists, NASA scientists I think it was, they put um, different substances on on spiders, because you can see the output of a spider by, by their web, can't you? You can see the work they do. They had some interesting results when they put these different drugs onto spiders and caffeine as well. So find out more about that if you go to evolvemybody.co.uk forward slash coffee. Go to evolvemybody.co.uk forward slash coffee. That's a page that's always going to be growing um, and there's going to be more stuff coming up on that website soon as well. So go check it out and if you enjoyed this video, found it interesting, found it helpful, do be sure to share it.